Uh, hello. Hello there, this is Lighter Monkey on YouTube. And I wanted to put a video of this this uh, 110 scale streetcar up. Uh, because I realized I've never actually put one up kind of talking about it. And it is the... Uh, it's the RD Logic... RD Logic Mongoose is the name of this streetcar. You can actually pick it up off of eBay. You can pick it up off eBay right now if you want. Um, you just have to search for it. It's a, it's a 110 scale nitro. Um, some assembly required. Yeah, it is a kit. So actually a lot of fucking assembly required of little tiny parts. That kind of sucked. I got big goddamn hands. Um, but uh, yeah, you can look at my channel and you can see a few running videos of this thing with this engine and everything. I've never actually put any videos of it driving. Um, <clears throat> I just never did it. Um, I, I'd like to do it in the future, for sure. But, um, you know, I ran into a couple snags. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's got a, uh, it's got an OS-12 in it. It's already broken in, already run in everything. Um, so it's good to, it's good to do some more running. But I just, I ran into a little snag. You can tell the spur gear... The end spur gear took a crap. It's plastic to fucking metal, which I don't know what the reasoning behind that was. I hate that when I hate that when companies do that. HPI does it. Um, you know, a lot of other a lot of other companies that you know do in this hobby do that. You know, fifth scale, eight scale, ten scale, metal to plastic is never a good fucking idea. I don't, I don't get it. But, um, yeah, um, you know, here's a, just a short video. The, uh, I had to, it's a, it was a kit, so it was just, you have to completely assemble everything with it. Um, I got the pipe with it, I got the, you know, everything else. The electronics didn't come with it, meaning the servo, the switch never came with it. That's another switch. Um, the servos never came with it. I pulled the servos, this front servo, and then the steering servo that's, tucked way down in there so that was a pain in the ass to fucking build um you know they're all tucked in really tight and in, inside the in, in the whole damn car these servos you can maybe see it i don't think you can uh maybe if i wipe it away a little <laughs> these are from an hpi yeah there we go that's a hpi servo from my uh from one of my hpis hang on a second Let me get this crap off my hands um it's an HPI servos for the front, I'm sorry, for the throttle and for the steering. Um, you know, this engine is, is really good in this fucking thing. It, this thing. This thing hauls goddamn ass with that engine and the two-speed. Oh my goodness, it's fast as hell. Um, here's, a little, here's a little show of the bottom of the car. It's pretty much a race, a custom race built car for like around $250 which is compared to Kyosho and shit that's a steal Kyosho wants like seven eight hundred dollars for a purpose race built um street car like the same kind of street car like eight hundred dollars that's yeah that's kind of steep so I figured I'd put a video up with this thing because I mean you don't see anything really on it on YouTube um a little side view. Let me get the other side going. There's a side view of the gears. Um, I need to do a couple things to this. Uh, it's got the shocks from my HPI RS4 on there. The shocks that came with it, um, which are these right here, I tried putting them together, and they're just they're 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 not made very well. Those little shocks suck compared to compared to any other shocks these 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 work fine these uh, rs4 shocks they work good um if you that being said if you do want to pick one of these up if you would like to check it out on ebay just uh rd just type in rd logics rd logics mongoose and it's just a kit it's kind of a pain in the ass to put together but you know you can do it the uh, the instruction put the instruction booklet's pretty in depth. I mean, it shows everything. It shows how to assemble every single thing you need to assemble. 
um, you know, assemble shocks, assemble the front, assemble the turnbuckle, assemble the rear, the whole front assembly. You know, everything's everything's pretty good. I mean, they explain they explain shit in pretty good detail. Um, you know, and I wasn't missing any parts with it when I um, when I ordered it and when it came. Uh, you can tell it doesn't have a. This is where the uh, that's where the receiver goes, but I don't have one. I've actually, I need to pick up a Futaba receiver. So that's what I use. I just use Futabas. Uh, the battery is supposed to go, shit. The battery is supposed to go, I think, it's like supposed to go right here, underneath the tank and shit. And it's in a really tiny, tight little fucking area. So I'm not, like, I don't even think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to get another... Uh, another battery pack and I'm just gonna do what I have do it like I have here where it's just like strapped to the fucking front of it because that's just that's too much of a bitch and it's too tight to get that damn thing in there like uh, that's a pain in the fucking ass I don't, I don't want to do it I don't want to have to always like you know pop off half of the fucking body just to get to the battery like I don't want to do that shit yeah um but, uh, yeah, I need to do a couple things to this, I think. Um, I'm gonna try to shave these, like, little turnbuckles off that are right here. Just kind of shave some of the edges off. Um, you know, just right there. I can't really see it because I'm a fat finger. Shave one of the sides because I think it's hitting a little too much. Because these, this rear, you can tell, this rear has way too much, like, pressure on it. Like, it doesn't flex like the front does when it goes down and shit. Like you can tell, the front flexes a lot, and it and it moves, you know, if it needs to. But the rear is extremely stiff, so I need to really do something about that before I run this thing next. Gotta answer some shit on me. Um, yeah, and I got maybe ten tanks to this car, and it's and it's seeming to be pretty good. Like I said, it's all broken. Um, you know, I just I had some trouble where I stripped the gears, the front gear. I guess this is the second speed gear, apparently. Um, and I had to order more, but this car is weird. You can't really order that many parts for it, so I don't even know how much I'm really going to drive it. I went ahead and ordered some more spur gears, and I have them, but they came all the way from China, and they took fucking like a, a month or something to get here. Actually, it took like two months to get here. I was surprised they even got here really at all because of the whole, you know, COVID thing and everything, but they actually, they did. Um, it's real easy to replace it. You just, you know, this nut goes the other direction. You'd think you loosen it to the left, but you actually loosen it to the right going clockwise. And then it's just, this just pops off real easy. Um, but yeah, I have like six or seven other gears, so, um, you know, so if it does strip out, I can replace it. But I couldn't find aluminum versions of that gear or this gear. This is the first speed or the second speed gear, so... I guess I can't really, you know, I just gotta deal with the plastic ones, and then once those are gone, that's kind of it. I don't even know if I can find any more. So, we'll see, you know. If I knew somebody with the CNC machine, I would just get them to fucking mill me some, uh, some gears. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know anybody that has a CNC machine that can make that for me. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. So there's, uh, there's this thing, uh, yeah, RD Logics Mongoose. It's basically a clone of another brand. I forgot the brand of, of that one. Um, I don't remember what the hell the brand name was of that other one. This, base, this is basically a clone of it. I um, also wanted to show off the starter box that I just purchased recently. This is a dynamite starter box. Um... Yeah, this they just got these in on a main if you if you're looking to pick them one up it's a, just a universal starter box you know eight scale ten scale anything and uh, what I like is the is the wheel can can go sideways uh, like right here because I need I actually need that for this car because if you if you look I mean there's no way the you know there's this there's the uh, there's a flywheel right there that I'm pointing to you can see it better in the picture maybe. yeah right there there's a flywheel that I'm pointing to right there, and the, you know, the wheel's going that way. So, you know, you need a starter box. With a lot of street cars, you need a starter box to where this this uh, this starter wheel can be can be vertical. So, and then these all move up and down and everything. So, I'm sure I won't have any trouble 
you know, getting this on there to where it hits and then just moving this flywheel sideways. So, got to get batteries for it though. But, uh, yeah. Um, you know, and if you want to check out some videos, like I said, of it running, uh, I do have a few on my channel with this thing uh, idling. Like, the engine sounds fucking awesome on this thing. It sounds amazing. Idles perfectly. It sounds really good. Um, you know, OS engines, you can never go wrong with a goddamn OS engine on anything. You know, 5th scale, I'm sorry, not 5th scale, um, you know, 8th scale, 10th scale, 7th scale, you can't go wrong with OS engines. You know, I would, I would venture, I would venture to say that they might be better than Nova Rossi's. But I mean, that's, you know, that's a big, that's a big thing right there is, is, you know, a lot of people are, are real loyal to that brand name. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, thank you for, thank you for watching the video, and, uh, I definitely appreciate a like if you want to. Um, you know, and I got a, like I said, I have a, a, a one or two videos, I think, of this thing running, and it sounds fucking awesome. I don't really have any of it driving, because before the spur gear took a crap, and before it, you know, started to get completely worn off, I, uh, I didn't have a GoPro or anything, and I never really thought to take my phone out and, and record it a little as I was driving it. Plus, I wasn't going very fast. I was just, you know, going real slow. Just trying to break the engine in. Like I said, it's, it's only got maybe 10 tanks. Maybe. Somewhere around there in it. <clears throat> and there's the there's the rear. Um, yeah, you can get this car for, I don't know, somewhere around 2, 2, 230, something like that, I think. But then you still got to purchase the, you, know, you got to purchase the servos, the front, front servo, uh, throttle servo. Pointed those wrong throttle. Um, you know, steering throttle. Uh, you got to purchase the the receiver. Um, of course, the engine, the pipe. Actually, I think the pipe actually comes with it. And this is actually a really good pipe that came with it. It was just in the bag. I don't know how well that that belt's gonna hold up. Um, the main drive belt. Um, you know, after ten tanks, it it seems fine. So I guess we'll I guess we'll see. You know, we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> but I mean, yeah, for a street car, like you can tell I haven't driven it a shit ton. Because you drive, you start to drive a street car a lot, and you can tell on the bottom. The bottom just is, is just fucked. Like one of my other street cars, it's totally, the bottom is just donezo. <clears throat> Alright, um, but yeah, thank you for, thank you for watching, uh, appreciate it. Um, you know, leave a comment, leave a like, um... I did it in a couple of my other videos, but I can shout out to my friend's uh, channel, uh, Kit500. He doesn't really have any that much nitro stuff. If you're, you know, just jumping on this video just to see the nitro, or jumping on my channel just to see the couple of nitros that I've got, um, he doesn't have much nitro, but he's got a lot of good, good fist scale videos and stuff. Um, and another one I could probably say would be RC Sparks or Boda Gel. You could go check out. They both have good videos. Um, RC Sparks is electric, um, you know, big ass monster truck fist scale, so is Boda Gel, he does, does nitro and, and gas fist scale stuff mostly, or I'm sorry, um, some nitro, but mostly gas fist scale, not many electrics, but, uh, yeah, that, uh, beside the point, um, yeah, but if, uh, that's, a it's a RD Logic's mongoose for you, if you... You know, if you're thinking of picking one up, I, w I would say go ahead, you know, go ahead and, and shoot and do it. It's, you know, $600 less than a goddamn Kyosho kit. But the problem is, is the availability of parts. Like, for instance, these spur gears. Um, yeah, if, if you want to get parts for it, you got to get it from eBay, and they got to come from China. So that, that kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, uh, you have a good... Uh, Good one, and um, thanks for watching.